وقد أعربت عدد من الشخصيات الدولية المرموقة أهمية أن يكون هناك يوم دولي يحتفى بالضمير خاصة في ظل المستجدات والأوضاع الاستثنائية التي يمر بها العالم متقدمين بالشكر والتقدير لهذه المبادرة الرائدة من صاحب السمو الملكي رئيس الوزراء On this day of conscience, thanks to the initiative of the Kingdom of Bahrain, let's we all remember the importance of peace for the world community in such times of growing fear, rising tensions and nationalism. More than ever, facing the tragic challenges of the COVID-19 epidemic, we see the necessity of a stronger solidarity, cooperation and multilateralism. We all have today an obligation to react collectively in a burst of courage to alleviate the suffering of our nations around the world. When we've seen pictures from outer space of the planet Earth, we can see it doesn't have any borders. And the wise from time immemorial have admonished us to see the human family as one. It's always been a spiritual necessity to do that, but today it's a practical necessity because we know that the climate of the planet is one that pandemic diseases and viruses don't carry passports and that nuclear fallout doesn't recognize borders. The sustainable development goals that express the global conscience call upon us to work to eliminate global poverty, obtain gender balance and protect the climate. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights reminds us of the inherent value and dignity of every individual. And the call for peace based on the rule of law and the elimination of nuclear weapons calls us to become fully human and live as one human family. It's time that people like you and I go deep within ourselves and become fully aligned with the voice of conscience and bring loving kindness into action and change indifference into compassion hatred toward anybody into loving kindness, hastiness into patience, and you and I ourselves become sanctuaries of a culture of peace. This is the capacity that God has given us as human beings. It's my prayer that we obtain the fullness of our humanity. As human beings, we must run our life on principles, on values. And conscience is a gift from God. Everybody has a conscience. Everybody knows what is right and what is wrong. You don't actually need a preacher. You don't need a... You know that this is wrong. It is wrong to kill. It is wrong to not to love people. It is wrong to be lazy. All the things that human beings value, they are actually universal because they are based in our conscience. So, but it has taken 75 years. This year when we celebrate 75 years of the United Nations, the world has finally come together to define common principles along which we can govern ourselves internally. Because self-governance government, go by each one of us through our conscience is a key. I would, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate, as I said, the people who have spearheaded uh, this campaign. It has, it has been such a, a difficult campaign, it has taken so long, but finally the world, the world has come together. Actually, I am sending this uh, message at a time when there is a global pandemic of the coronavirus. And you can see that humanity across the continent, as we confront the, corona, the coronavirus pandemic, you can see it has pricked our conscience. You can almost say that it is not just a coincidence. It is actually almost like a divine intervention that what else could bring the world together could force us to examine our conscience, our way of life, the way we treat each other, the way we share success or failures or challenges. On this remarkable day, the International Day of Consciousness, I would like to highly acknowledge His Royal Highness, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Having witnessed its achievement that tackle all aspects of our life, such as the environment, peace, global health, and economic empowerment of youth. The vision of His Royal Highness to empower youth led to the strategic partnership with the UNIDO Investment Technology Promotion Office in the Kingdom of Bahrain more than 20 years back. Globally, in partnership with UNIDO again, 
ITPO Bahrain and the World Entrepreneurs Investment Forum. His Royal Highness launched the World Entrepreneurs Forum in 2015 to be the first and the only forum under the UN umbrella that bring together entrepreneurs, experts, R&D institutions, government officials, universities, financial institutions, chamber of commerce, and NGO to share their best practices to support the startups and growth of SMEs and enhancing the ecosystems. This in fact reflects and translates to the vision of His Royal Highness to draw attention to the interlinkages between the three pillars of the UN, peace and security, sustainable development, and human rights. And of course, provide an opportunity for the international community to promote peace, tolerance, inclusion, understanding, and solidarity in order to build a sustainable world with peace and prosperity for all. The International Day of Conscience was approved by the United Nations General Assembly in July 2019 and was promoted by the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership by His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. It is based on the principles of peace and cohesion. Conscience is linked to sustainable development as it promotes the idea of leaving no one behind, thinking before we act, promoting moral and ethical behaviors, understanding the consequences of our own behaviors, stressing individual responsibility to change the world and to do to others what you expect others to do to you. In doing so, it promotes the achievements of the Sustainable Development Goals on the economic, social, and environmental fronts. Any global challenge requires joint, unified, and coordinated efforts, such as the ones that are being carried out today to face the COVID-19 pandemic. And those efforts need to be based on individual commitment and overall conscience, as is being the case in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It is for that reason that we should all join our minds and our hearts in celebrating the occurrence of the International Day of Conscience. Szanowni Państwo, mówię do Państwa jako rewolucjonista. Widzicie, co się dzieje w Europie i w świecie. Po upadku komunizmu świat poszukuje rozwiązań. Tamta epoka pojawiła na podziałach. Kraje wyścigi między sobą robiły. I to powodowało zgubienie wartości i sumienia. I dzisiaj, jeśli chcemy budować nowy, lepszy świat, to powinniśmy iść za pomysłem księcia Khalifa i premiera Bahrainu, którzy mówią, że przyszły świat należy budować na uzgodnionych wartościach i wychować człowieka sumienia. Cieszę się, że tą inicjatywę podjął ONZ, bo jest szansa, że ta zasłużona organizacja razem z Bahrainem dopracuje się rozwiązań, które będą pasowały na nasze przyszłe budowania.